So we spent time doing our ventilation calculations for open fluid appliances, room sealed appliances, fluidless appliances, multiple appliance um, ventilation calculations. What I want to look at now is how do we actually accurately measure our air vents? Because we may well have a calculation and a figure we require, but if we measure our air vent incorrectly, it could mean that we are not supplying sufficient combustion air for an appliance. So what we're going to look at first, okay, is our terracotta air vent. Now we'll notice that on the outside, our holes are a centimetre squared, okay, 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres. However, on the reverse of them, so the bit within the wall that we don't actually see, the holes are actually smaller. They're eight millimetres by eight millimetres. Now, it might not sound a lot, okay? It's important that any air vent is always measured on its smallest opening, okay? So, obviously, we're not going to take the air vent out from the wall. So, you can get a tapered depth gauge, which will tell you how big the holes are on the inside. Now, in this scenario, in this example, the holes on these are 0.8 centimeters by 0.8 centimeters. So firstly, what we would do, we'd multiply 0.8 by 0.8, which would give us 0.64 centimeters squared of ventilation, free air movement for every hole. What we then need to do, once we've worked out how much air passes through one, we multiply it by how many there are. Okay, so each hole is 0.8 by 0.8 centimeters, which equals 0.64 centimeters squared. We multiply that by 18. Now that gives us a free area of 11.52 centimeters squared on this side of the air vent. That is the actual free air movement through it. Now if we flick it over for a second to the side which is actually outside of the wall. These are a centimeter by a centimeter. Okay, they're slightly larger. So if we measured the outside holes, each one is a centimetre by a centimetre, so each hole is eight, one centimetre square. There are 18 of them. So that would give us what we would deem 18 centimetres squared of free air movement through this air vent. But because of how a holes taper, the actual free air movement is actually only 11.52. So it's very, very important with a terracotta air brick that you measure it correctly. Okay, now obviously, just remember they do taper, so maybe a depth gauge, stepped depth gauge may be useful for you for those. The most common ones that you're probably gonna fit and come across will be this type of plastic louvre type. Okay, again, we still need to make sure that we are measuring correctly. Now the benefit is a lot of them do have printed on somewhere free area, um, free air movement through them. Okay, but it might well be that that's rubbed off or it's missing, it doesn't actually have that. So what you have to do is obviously again, make sure we're measuring on the smallest opening. That isn't from top to bottom across there, it's actually from the smallest section from there to there. Okay, the actual free air movement is seven millimeters, so 0.7 centimeters on the narrowest part in there. Multiplied by the length, which is 10 centimeters by however many there are, that gives you 100 centimeters squared. If you measured across from the bottom of this groove to the top of that one there, that actually works out at 210 centimeters squared. Nearly double, well over double, the actual physical free air movement through this air vent. So you always need to remember any air vent, a terracotta air vent, or a louvre type plastic one here, or metal one for that point, always need to measure on the smallest dimension. And that's not from here to here, it's actually, if you tilt it from here to there, okay? It is actually only seven millimeters, not 15 millimeters, which is what you'd expect if you measured it like that. Okay, and we've obviously already gone for the example of terracotta. So very, very important because this is supplying combustion air to an appliance. If we are not giving it sufficient combustion air, we run a very real risk of having incomplete combustion. So always remember how to accurately measure air vents. 